Today I'm working on this uh, Breitling Bentley chronograph. It's uh, an ETA 2892-A2 movement uh, with the Dubois de Prez chronograph module bolted on. It's uh, a relatively time-consuming job uh, to service these watches and even with all the edits it's still almost two hours long. And so I've decided to split this up into um, a series of several parts which I'll upload over the next few weeks. So please stay subscribed and that way you'll up be updated when the new episode goes up each Friday. And if you're a, a patron then uh, log into your Patreon account and you'll find that I've uploaded the whole thing for you to watch right away. And details of how to become a patron uh, can be found in the description of this video. So I've unscrewed the crown uh, from the case and there are three case screws that secure the movement. With the case screws removed, I'm just removing the uh, winding stem. And now the movement should be able to just drop out of the case. And I'll replace the stem and crown. And the next job is to remove the hands. Now before I move the movement ring, I'm just going to remove these little plungers. And now I can remove the uh, case ring, which is secured uh, with two screws to the actual movement.
And the next job is to remove the dial. And the dial is secured to the chronograph module uh, with two screws. Now I don't recommend removing these screws fully as they can be quite difficult to get back in. You just unscrew them enough to loosen the dial. And then once the dial is off, uh, I would recommend to tighten them back up again until later on when you're ready to put the dial back in place. So now I'm removing the, uh, the 2892 movement from the chronograph module. And this is secured with three clamps. So I'm unscrewing the clamps right now. And with the clamps unscrewed and removed, the movement will just come away from the module. And here we have a side by side shot. So now I'll continue and dismantle the 2892 movement. So I'll start with the automatic works, which is secured with three screws. Now these screws will be a slightly different color from all the others, and they will be black in color. And make sure the little hack, balance hack gets removed. And now I'm going to remove the, the balance wheel. So I'm removing any uh, potential power from the mainspring. Which will allow me to now remove the, the pallets. Now, on the dial side of the movement, we have this little pinion uh, which sits on the seconds wheel. And I find the easiest way to remove that is with a pair of hand lifters. Now I'll remove the minute train bridge, which will allow me to remove the, the motion work and the calendar setting wheels.
and the old oil is making these parts stick together. So now I can remove the train of wheels. So I'll start by removing the uh, the train bridge. Now because of the old oil, the wheels seem to be stuck in the pivot holes. So I'll just give them a little nudge down before removing the the bridge. And then I can remove the rest of the train wheels. And now I'll remove the, bar uh, the barrel bridge. So I'll continue now by removing the keyless work. And with that, the 2892 movement is now dissembled. So now I just need to dissemble the, um, the barrel bridge. It has a few components. I can see the click spring has been bent in the past by somebody out of shape. I'll deal with that later. You can see the old oil has made a bit of a mess there. And finally, I need to disassemble the automatic works here. Now, I've removed the weight from the main works and that's secured with three little screws.
and the rest of the uh, wheels uh, the reversing mechanism is underneath this little bridge so I'll just remove that 